is a city within walls from Attack on Titan, where a hundred players will be trapped in trying to avoid death. Within these lands, there's giant creatures known as Titans, dangerous challenges, and even rogue scouts. Players are also set to hardcore mode, so they only have one life. For every subscriber I get on this video, I will be placing one TNT on my friend's hardcore world, so don't miss your chance. This is the 100 player Attack on Titan simulation. Our story begins with players waking up at a village outside of the walls. Notable places here being the windmills, the cabins, the forest, the walls, and lastly, the gate. Phase 1, the outskirts. Players are to collect food, gather resources, and figure out a way to get themselves into these rich people walls, cause god knows these people don't have a lot going for them. They are aware of their situation, poverty, and aren't allowed within the walls without being granted access, is what they thought, but more on that later though. We'll be calling the players villagers for now. They roam the small bit of land that they start out with. The first point of interest the villagers wanted to loot was the food supplies, and that makes sense. They don't have unlimited food, so they are trying to make the most of the resources that they have. Some of the players ended up demolishing the cabins given to them. I spent a whole YouTube tutorial making those. You ungrateful pieces of- Dude, they- they annihilated this house, bruh. I guess that's one way to get some wood. Others headed into the forest. They wanted to get some wood and make some tools early on in preparation since some knew that they were not alone. Some of the notable teams are Team Ballers, Team Solstice, and Team Verse, owned by a Weka. Soon the world border will go from 100 blocks to 200 blocks, doubling in the area in which the villagers can explore. I end up giving an announcement to the villagers to make some armor because they're gonna need it. I thought they need it once they realize that the forest is not as safe as it seemed. The villagers that explored the early forest were now beginning to mine down in search for some armor. But the iron amounts in the starting area is close to none. They didn't know that though. Yeah, are there there's any no iron? There's probably absolutely no iron. There's no iron? Hello. How's it going? Go find it oh. else. A player by the name of Cortero was walking around with a pink dream skin. What the heck? What is this boy up to? Hello, dear sir. Oh, you can't hear me. Wait, I know oh. you. Yeah, I oh. know you. Oh, no, you do. don't look at me. I'm a totally different person now. Yeah, man. There's also villagers that have weapons, ready to strike at anything that moves. Just when the villagers get comfortable, they uncover the cavern that was right below their feet. There seems to be a lot of people mining over here. These guys are down here in this very cryptic place. The world border expands once more, allowing people access to the gate and a bit deeper into the forest. Villagers end up beelining to the windmills and the hay bales right next to it. You rats. Move to the entrance of, of the walls. I guess they think that they can just walk in, but no. Nope. There are scout guards that are preventing outsiders from entering. They shot at them if they got too close. There was a dead scout found in one of the cabins right in front of the gate. Are they killing their own people off? What's going on here? It's not what it seems within the Is that Aaron Yeager? Yeah, that's Aaron Wait. Yeager. The villagers get a little worried, but push forward. And by push forward, I mean sit there like little ducks, waiting for the borders to expand. I guess that's a method they can use. I, I don't know. Meanwhile, over in the deep ends of the forest, there was a three meter titan hunting players down one by one. It was trampling over the crops and trees, so there's nothing hiding from this titan. Soon after, more players ended up entering the forest to help out with the victims of the titan. He's so ugly, bro. I'm stuck! Help! Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Help! Help! Yes, sir. Bro, help me! I'm stuck! What's happening? What am I stuck on? They managed to kill this titan, but it's only a little baby. There's much bigger titans that they'll get to meet soon enough. Not too soon later, some more titans emerge from the forest depths and attack some more of the villagers. Oh god. Oh no. Okay! Okay! What the hell? <laughs> Nope, not for me, not for me, not for me. Nope. A three meter titan leaves the forest, chasing down a victim of his, and is now in sight of villagers that have yet to discover them. Oh, damn! I decided to go and check back on the windmills and just look at this place. What the heck? Oh, what are you, doing? Oh, you guys are violating. Oh, there's Adrian. Oh, I hi, need Adrian. the wall. We need the string, my man. We need, we need it. it. We need it to live. Oh my god. This Bro, that took me like an hour tutorial. <laughs> 
This windmill must die for our needs. <laughs> Adrian, look at me. Look at me real quick. I'm looking, all right? I'm looking at you. The French, French will fall. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, damn. We need okay, to kill yeah. the French. The French will fall. Oh. What was this nonsense about the French? Apparently, there's also a French team owned by Crippy. Crippy. Hey. Why are there people saying that the French must fall? Have you made enemies no, already? No, 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 because we, we fuse with the, the bowlers, with some of the bowlers, so we have the followers now. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, everyone, so you guys are working together? Uh, I think right. everyone here are followers. Ah, I got you. Together, we are stronger. <laughs> Eopoke, the leader of Team Ballers, decided to ask me something. Yo, Adrian, what's good, brother? Hello. Nice skin. You guys fuse with the, with the French? <laughs> Adrian, I have, Adrian no so I have a deal for you. Oh, what's up, hit me. 78 cents for the attack touch. <laughs> nah, bro. Why? Oh my god, it's a target. It's a a three meter titan made it all the way over to the village. Now everyone in this area is in dangerous territory. There's still some villagers that just sat there doing a whole lot of nothing, waiting for the gates to open. Phase two, the walls. Players now have an expanded border that opens up real close to the door, but the door is still shut tight. But what this also allows is what this new phase unlocks for them. A location was announced to the villagers and they soon arrived at what's known as the opening. It's a bunch of engineering attempts a stowaway scout ended up making, and they'll for sure use this to their advantage. The villagers uses the contraptions to get themselves higher up in order to enter the wall and become illegal citizens of the city. Some of the villagers were being a bit dumb and didn't listen to the instructions trying to cheese their way into the entrance of the walls. Off with their heads! The sheer amount of villagers made it really difficult due to the player collisions, and not only that but the farther you go the higher the contraption is so if you fall off of it you're kind of donezo there are elevated bits higher up that some players have already gotten to decided to take a look at what team ballers was up to owned by eopoke of course and as you can see he was having a hard time to even get up there some people waited at the second section to wait for some villagers to catch up as you can see from the masses down this isn't the easiest of parkour courses this player decided not to listen to the instructions and went on ahead so I had to stop him at his tracks. Yeah, doesn't feel so great now, does it? Bacon jerky. Why are you bullying me? Bacon died. They killed bacon. Oh he went my rogue. god, they smited bacon. They killed bacon. No! And that, kids, is why you should always listen to instructions. At least there's no titans up here yet. And after a little while, the villagers were then prompted to complete the second set of parkour challenge. There's no water down below, so if they die, they die for good. Some of the courses in the second half uses up spinning cubes. Let's see if they can pull this off without falling into their dooms. Those who made it into the walls were then caught by a few people, but they were on their side, actually. I'm kind of surprised that they were so organized for this top bit, but I guess they didn't want to fall to their dooms. They're being a bit smart for once. Good on you guys. This is a titan shifter. He's also my friend named Aweka. He has the ability to turn into a titan, and his goal is to befriend the villagers, earn their trust, and get them all killed. Okay, the killing part was kind of his idea. Eopoke had a few words for me too. Can't hey, see Jerry, nothing. I swear to God, you monster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the villagers are really starting to meet their breaking points. Aweka ended up making it to the second side segment and he's one away from entering the walls oweka starts climbing the walls ends up making it to the entrance no, no, wait no, no. wait i won bro did not win anything it's literally the entrance i have some uh, food who needs food i have over a sack of bread I, I, yeah i need food back the hell up give me the food bro back the i got no I got food you. i got you bro no you give me food <laughs> And it seems that the titan shifter has a bit of an appetite. I don't really know how the villagers are going to earn his trust, but I guess that's not my job, it's his. Phase 2, the walls. This phase is also meant to give players more time to collect iron, trade with Armin for things like guns, and get food they need for mission 1. We're gonna start calling the players from now on Scout. Notable places and people here would be the castle, the riverside, Armin who sells the Glocks, and lastly Levi who sells scout missions. Besides the side there, the inner wall members were near the front following the engineer. They met on the side of helping them become locals here. Till now the border limited how much they can actually explore within the city bounds, but now it opened up for exploration. Chests and all sorts of goods can be found within these houses, containing food, armor, and so much more. These brand new Scots of ours ranking into the systems of the city, and we're preparing for their first mission 30 minutes from now. The thing people didn't account for is rogue scout gangs forming within 
in the city. The city wasn't as peaceful as they thought it would be, huh? Team Ballers at this time was also within the city, but their entire team was all over the place. We need a spot we can all regroup at because hey, we're all set. Where is everyone? Eopoke actually started plotting a massacre once he reunites with his team. Even though they're supposed to be on the same side here with the scouts, he wasn't on the majority side at all. He wanted bloodshed, even if it meant giving up his life. There was one player found by the boats on the riverbed searching for some of that loot. Wanted to check up on Team French. Apparently, he's been murdering some of the corrupt scouts, earning the trust of the people within the wall. They seem to be blending in pretty nice. Some of the people have gotten their first ODM gear, and for those that don't know what that is, it's basically the stuff that lets them maneuver in the air, using Armin to trade those goods, and they begin to practice their sword attacks. Alongside the blades, there was also some armor that they were given, increasing their chances of survival against the titans they'll have to face. 20 minutes from now, mission 1 begins to locate and eliminate the female titan. Some people end up prying the walls open like the border was even expanded, but I guess they could just chill outside of the walls if they really wanted to. But nobody said that the other end of the walls was going to be any safer. There were 7 meter titans roaming around the walls, which is the second one introduced so far, which isn't too common. Wonder what's going on here. <laughs> I can't go back. Fight Titan. Jeez, look at that. They ended up murdering Armin. What? They murdered the person they needed in order to progress further. These are psychos. The stuff I do for these people, I end up fixing it, giving him a stupid amount of health so he can no longer be slain by measly blades. Someone was lagging out the inner walls, having these training things all over the place. It was getting out of control. Oweka, the undercover Titan shifter, also got himself some scout gear and made it seem like it was all normal. Back over at the exit of the city, there's a 7 meter titan that demolishes a big chunk of the wall, but the scouts begin to attack it. Hope they solve this before the titans take over the entire city. Going back to a team that has been allied but separated for a little while, Team Ballers and Team French, which we'll be calling Team Fallers, has been plotting to massacre the people. They gathered here kinda like a witch cult, watching over the masses of scouts that are to be killed off soon. They all have their ODM gear. Oweka ends up there as well, unknowing what they are up to. Some of the scouts make a fatal mistake, and that being gas. It's what fuels the ODM gear, so some are just using their rapples way too much, using up all of their gas supplies. Silly scouts. Some of the scouts decided to completely murder Armin the traitor. Again, they ended up burying him. Yeah, they, they buried this man alive. What the? Some of the scouts didn't want to get involved with the fiasco down there, so they watched from the rooftops. Eopoke decided to be a scout that wasn't really on the side of their own people. Sure, he might not be a titan shifter, but who said you had to be a titan shifter to cause some chaos? Not me. His first strat was using a lava bucket, then began chasing down scouts. Some of the safer scouts were mining for iron, and rightfully so. Back to Eopoke's team, Team Fallers. They were blood hungry. They were also relentless. It was really starting to look like they've gone full bandit mode on their scout friends. They tried various methods from the ODM gear, potions, to even end crystals. Is there no means? I see they're taking use of the high ground, but after a little while when the numbers were lower, they gained the loot that they wanted to, and then they stopped by in the front to meet up for mission one. This was known as the female titan assassination. She's a titan shifter known as the female titan, found by a coliseum somewhere north from here. The thing the scouts didn't account for is that there was a traitor amongst them. Part of team verse, Oweka, the titan shifter, also knows the plan to assassinate one of his friends. Oweka now had a choice to make because the scouts began to grow on him and Oweka counted them as his friends too. His choices were to betray the scout friends of his and fight the female titan or side with the female titan and betray the scouts. Yo, 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 look. Okay, 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 I have a quick question. So if my plan goes wrong, can I get one syringe of the Hammerhead Titan? Because if my plan goes wrong, I'm gonna need somebody to carry it out. It would be kind of nice. 
That's all I ask. I gave him the Beast Titan syringe. Was this a mistake on my part for getting a little too involved? Maybe, but I'm curious to see what he has planned. Back to mission one. The scouts gather up outside of the walls and keeping the Titans lurking at bay. They strive forward with their gear and search for the Colosseum that she has been seen at. I guess she can't really hide that well. They stuck in their little groups, but were mismatched in teams. They all just wanted to eliminate the female Titan, gone and killed. As you can see, the female Titan had already been damaged from whatever she was even doing there. As time passed, the scouts began to attack the female Titan. She used an ability to heal her health points, so she's back to full health. Will they prevail? A lot of the scouts seem to be able to tank this beast, so they take off a lot of her health. No! Oh my god! I got nausea! I'm to kill it. Oh, I have nausea. Wait, wait! One boat. We don't even need a boat. Come on, on, we can win! Oh, get up. the boat! Get, get it! <laughs> oh, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Fight back! Come on, man! None of the scouts have fallen to the female titan, but she's already halfway into her health. The scouts thought that the female titan was done for, but then began phase two of her attack. She screeched calling any nearby titans to come aid her. This also caused her health to restore a little bit, but just a bit. Hey, stop running, it's going after you! No! I'm so- Kill it! What? Wait, every again! How much health do this thing have, bro? Nobody. So this is where things get a bit weird because the female titan ended up duplicating herself. Yeah, it was a bit of a glitch, but I just kind of let it slide. Wait, there's two. Why is there two? Kill the low one. Oweka finally ended up arriving. Oh this oh thing just got lost. All right, he didn't know how to read coordinates. Like, it's not my fault. But at last, he made it to the female <laughs> titan friend of his and saw that she was fighting for her life. And Oweka ended up charging in, making his choice to help the female titan and transformed into oh. the attack. Titan. This caused so many of the scouts to get annihilated in one move. Then Oweka began to actually fight the female Titan. In actuality, he was helping out the scouts. He accidentally murdered a bunch of them. Further losing his trust, he tried so hard to build up with them. The fact that he started helping the scouts made them really confused as to whose side he was really on. This is how many people are still left alive. I'd say about 35 scouts, give or take, remain. But despite Oweka managing to take down the female titan's health his attack titan deformed and he was back to being human since he can't retain that form for too long and he killed the female titan do keep in mind someone ended up saving enough and buying a gun to kill off the female titan once and for all mission one was a success now they just had to get back home safely they arrived at the walls took out the titans that were out at the front of it and cashed in mission one to levi 30 minutes remain until so mission 2 is then announced. The trades for scouts got cheaper, as time passes to make it more accessible. Oweka made it back hoping that no one finds out that he in fact was the titan shifter, but some of the scouts were definitely starting to catch on. This is team Solstice, which alongside Oweka, were the first ones to come back from mission 1 and cash it in. There was word spreading, which led to someone trying to burn him to death. Oweka takes the risk and transforms within in the walls, killing off some of the members of Solstice. Crazy how Oweka risked something like this within the walls. It wasn't long until Oweka calmed down and forgave the scouts for turning on him due to this accident. They were once again willing to trust him. Was this really the right choice? Not too long after, begins mission two, which was more of an emergency mission known as Breakthrough. Not before long, an attack happened on the walls. Yeah, but there's no PvP. Oh, what is happening? I don't believe. Two other Titan shifters. The female Titan ended up breaking the initial walls. Moments later, the colossal Titan appears and attacks the scouts and tries to enter within the walls. There's the colossal Titan, bro. They're shooting him. Bro, the colossal Titan. Get him! Ah. Don't get him! Run! Ah. Oh, I'm Bro, he got that dog in him. I have grenades. We have to kill the Colossal Titan. This Colossal Titan was insane. The scouts barely did a scratch to it, but they focused on the female Titan first, which was smart. After defeating the female Titan, they shifted focus onto the Colossal Titan. 
Look at all the space around that's being destroyed, and so much destruction. The female titan also ended up getting back up, and entered the city. Some of the scouts ended up getting guns, because that does a much larger amount of damage than this lousy gear. It might not seem like the scouts are dealing with much, but just look at who's left. 23 people remain. Jeez, there's nobody left. Oh. Then Aweka jumps off the walls at the top and transforms oh, into the attack titan to do some heavy damage to the colossal titan. Aweka's starting to beat down the colossal titan from his legs, but even with Aweka's help, it was still taking ages to kill him. Just look at the size difference between these two. <laughs> He's so tiny, look at him. <laughs> kill him, Aweka. I'm, I'm trying! Kill him! Please. There's actually barely a Oweka tries climbing to the top of the wall again to jump down and attack him. Oh my gosh, um, what is he doing? Oh my god, what is he doing? He's almost dead. Once more, scouts got more guns. They began to deal a lot more damage to the colossal titan. Someone just screamed, I'm scared for them. <laughs> Yo, someone just screamed their life. Aweka transforms back into human though. There's a small cooldown on how frequently he can even transform. They got the Colossal Titan to about halfway down his health, but these guns are really carrying. A sixth of the Colossal Titan's health only remains. The scouts that remain charge in for some final hits, trying to steal the last hit on this freak of nature. Oh and the Colossal Titan is oh killed God. off for good. Mission 2 was a success. Next up was Mission 3, which will lead scouts to an undisclosed area far off into the woods, where a bunch of titan shifters have chose to make it into their home base. As you can see, the front of the walls have been completely annihilated. They should patch that up soon. No, no, like seriously, the, the titans can just walk in. Some scouts head over to where Mission 3 requires them to go, but it's swarming with bloodthirsty titans. It's a bit of a ways to go, so only those with the suffice food decided to take on this mission. It's their final mission before their fourth and last mission is sent. Oh, there's the Coliseum that's over there with the beast titans. Yo, everyone, everyone, group up, group up. <laughs> All right, soldiers! Are we ready? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 uh, uh, spread out, spread out, bro. One of us, one of us might be Titans. Spread out so we all don't get smited. We can't trust each other. All right, boys, go! The reinforcements have arrived. Everyone, charge! The building's uh, it's a female Titan. These are the scouts that made it over here. They soon realize just how dangerous these missions have gotten. As if the Colossal Titan wasn't bad enough, they had a lot of back and forth here. Them having to re-see some of the Titans they once fought already and some new ones. They were guarding something, but what was it that they were trying to guard in the first place and why are they so protective of it? Kind of like a mother and a child. Oh my game is dying! I thought, I thought, I thought. Aweka at this time was actually after some bloodshed. What the hell is yeah. this thing? Oh, it's uh, pushing. Oh, oh my gosh, that did so much damage. Bro. Please kill that. There's aren't your friends. Oh, That's the what? As you can see, some were really starting to deal damage to some of the titans. Back to Aweka though, he's fighting this random creepy looking titan chasing him, but oh my gosh! But is also thinking about who the beast titan should be. He analyzes the scouts in order to find someone just as messed up as him, in order to betray the scouts, but also be sort of on their side, kind of like how Aweka is at the moment. Uh, what do you call him? The attack titan. Wait, what? He's also just a bit fed up with some people here, since no one really trusted him anymore and maybe began to sink in with more of his kill all human side of him. Hey Nadia, you're not about to hear what's about to go down. Hey uh hey Ducky bro um hey come with me <laughs> oh my god. Just a heads up, with some of these scenes and parts, the Titan Shifters models are kind of broken. So if they look like they're just flying around, it's probably because they're in their Titan form, but it's glitched out so I can't see it. Aweka ends up turning into a Titan and starts stomping around in search of victims. The Armored Titan and Beast Titan are also in the area. Aweka tries taking out the Beast Titan, but is seen getting pretty much rock. The Beast Titan was eating his punches like a granola bar on a Sunday night cookout. Meet the people, Aweka is gonna try converting into the Beast Titan. Yo, I killed mad people, bro. I know, I know. Listen, listen, listen. Oh my gosh. You have to choose who gets it, bro. The beast. Find oh someone, bro. God. Find someone. Okay. And make sure it's someone you trust. Yeah, this is gonna be like my best friend, bro, because we're gonna kill mad. So he ended up choosing this guy named Minnie. Oh, hey. Hey there. I'm 
I'm off to get a gun. And now, Oweka had to figure out who out of the three people that were right in front of him deserved to get their hands on Titan shifting powers. Uh, 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 hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, everyone talk one by one. Whose mic sounds like they're in an airplane? Him, him. I know his mic. I hear it from yours. All right, Mr. I Blow, come with me. What is that? Okay, Mr. Blow, it is A. Diran on toast. Come here. Everyone back up. Yeah. Okay, your mic also sounds like you're in freaking. Oh my god. Hey, I'll come with me. I both you back up. Alright, uh, hey, so um you know like you know how like uh I turned into the uh that that one thingy. Hey, back up, back up, fool. I'm not gonna kill you, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Chill! Get the hell away! I'm literally gonna turn into the attack sign right now and murder you! Okay. Uh, are you a subject of uh, Amir? You're an Ackerman? Wait, how do I even check? Which one did you choose when you joined the server? Uh, the one above. All right, right click on that. Bro, it just got blown up. Oh my god, he <laughs> blew it up. Hey, 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 don't run here. Everyone back up, back up. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna give you a little spiritual dance. Spiritual dance, spiritual dance, blocks breaking. All right, right click it. Hit G on your keyboard and you should turn into the beast side. Don't do it around people because you will kill a lot of people. <laughs> Can I shoot you? All right, back up, back up, back up. I, I oh, like you literally just killed. I, 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 <laughs> I so killed him. Funny. I killed him. Oh shoot! So he killed the soon to be beast titan by transforming on him. This guy's honestly a bit of a train wreck. We might get a new beast titan, bro. Oh, <laughs> we might. <laughs> we might. <laughs> I. So I told him to back up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told him. I, I, I everyone listen up. Listen up. You listen up. Anyone, dude. anyone, <laughs> are, anyone, uh, a subject yeah. of a uh, uh, Amir, uh, Yamir, okay, whatever. I am. All right, all right, come with me. Come with me. Nope. Hey, back up, the back subject up, of back Ymir? Up. No, no, I got, I already got, I already got quarter, quarter. Oh, yeah. But I was the first. All right, come with me. I don't care. Hey, come with me, quarter. Hey, everyone, I will, I will kill you if you guys keep following. Don't know what. Back up, back up, back up. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I will kill you if you keep following. Kill you if you keep going. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, okay. Holy moly, this is quite it's just man. killing everyone. Issue. Small issue. Aweka decides to transform too and tries claiming Quartero down. Hey, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. We we both can kill people. Oh, I'm getting okay? shot. <laughs> Oh my god, he's actually killing people. Scouts versus Oweka and Quartero is the new fight that had emerged here. Besides the obvious titans that already exist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, guys, so, guys. So what titan are you, bro? What titan are you? Uh, I'm, I'm the attack man. I'm the okay, attack man. What's your intentions, bro? Like, what what's do you want intentions, life? Yeah, what bro? Do you want like, life? Like, like, I want to kill people, bro. Oh, like, <laughs> like that? Okay. <laughs> that, bro. It's not like that, though. Okay. Like, so you want to kill people, so like, are you on our side or are you on the other side? Like, here, 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 here. How about this? How about this? Oweka ended up untransforming. Quartero on the other hand is still going around murking people he ended up choosing quite the interesting beast titan because this guy is relentless there were some scouts that remain at the very start in front of the walls but they ended up making their own set of walls uh, i guess that's one way to patch up the hold of the city what even throughout all of this the main question still remains what are these titan shifters even after but then we realize what their target really was the target was the queen which was housed in the white castle located near the center of the city within the walls the titan shifters oweka and quartero ran as fast as they could there the queen contained a syringe for the hammerhead titan in exchange of a few items of course the floor underneath her was also lava i don't know why even though oweka and quartero managed to get to the queen first they decided to try sabotaging all that could get to the queen in order to prevent anyone from getting the syringe before they can because if the scouts get a hold of it it will then become a titan versus Titan fight. Scouts come in, but for some reason they come in one by one. Aweka transforms within the castle, killing off the first player that almost got their hands on the Hammerhead Titan syringe. He also ended up killing off his teammate Cortero without even realizing it. Then another guy came in named Slurps that tried becoming the Hammerhead Titan. Soon the world was gonna face another threat. If this man didn't choose Ackerman as his class, oh my god, he risked his life to become a Titan and chose to be an Ackerman. Crazy. 
crazy. And for you guys that don't know, you have to be this thing called a subject of Ymir. And in the beginning of the event, players got to choose between being an Ackerman or a subject of Ymir. If you pick subject of Ymir, you end up having the ability to turn into a Titan. If you choose Ackerman, you're basically a normal human. It's curling tendencies. Who said that? Anyways, Aweka died to fall damage, trying to kill Slurps and get back the syringe that he wanted to take from him. Bram here soon arrived after Aweka died when things were safe, but didn't have the trade item, so he went back down. After Bram collected the stuff needed for the trade, he rose up amongst the other scouts and got the syringe that he rightfully deserves. Bram goes around destroying players and destroying the city. The city is done for. This place is gonna be gone by the end of this event. Bram hunts players one by one till none of the scouts remain. These scouts are so vengeful. Holy, what is even going on? The Aaron level instigating is crazy. This is where mission four begins. It's a two choice mission. Scouts can either pick between one of these two choices. Choice one, kill off Bram and protect the city. Or choice two, go with the citizens on escape boats and get the hell out of here. Bram was also aware of these escape boats since he was a scout himself. So Bram ran over to the boats before the scouts could and tried protecting it with his life. But even so, despite anything Bram could do, the scouts, at least most of them, got on the boat safe and sound and got out unscathed. When with that closes the chapter of the Titans, at least for now. You guys want a part two? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this simulation, here's some more civilization videos for you to watch.